What's going on guys? Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. I am the Beastly Gamer. Today I want to do a quick review of a film that I just saw. I went and saw 2019's Child's Play Soft Reboot and unlike a lot of people I went into this film uh, cautiously optimistic. I was hoping uh, that this film would bring something new to the series, a whole new take on the classic 1988's Child's Play. Now for those who don't know, uh, this, this film remake They've really changed um, the the mythology of the Child's Play series. In the original 1988 film, there was a serial killer by the name of Charles Lee Ray who was on the run from the police, and uh, he got injured really bad. Shot. He ran into a toy store, and uh, he performed um, uh, like a voodoo or satanic ritual on on the Chucky doll, and um, he died and took over control of that doll and there you have it the child's play series uh, in the 2019 film they have done away with that entirely and they've gone in the direction of a company like say uh, an amazon or a google uh, that creates technology for human consumption has been doing it for i guess decades they've decided to create a smart toy or like an eye eye doll it would be like i guess uh, for um I, apple it'll be like an eye robot uh or an eye doll for kids to play with that uh, basically serve the purpose of becoming your child's best friend, learning uh, their 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 do's and don'ts and their personality habits and doing things for them, reminding them to like say for instance take out the trash or uh, don't forget this book for homework, those kind of things. So uh, it really initially when I heard about it, I was like, well, it's not really child's play the way that I remember it. Uh, but let's see, if they're changing it, they have to be changing it for a reason. Uh, initially, we heard that Andy, the the, uh, the protagonist of the film, was going to be slightly older than the original uh, Andy, and that he uh, was going to kind of be an outsider, an introvert, and uh, this doll was going to be, I guess, his cudgel to get out and, and to kind of let his personality blossom and so i was thinking you know probably for the last two or three months i saw the the reveal of the chucky doll and it was it's pretty ugly um it was ugly in, in the initial reveal and i was like wow it really looks kind of soulless uh it looks very sterile and stale and and maybe that's what they're going for maybe that'll be more creepy than the original charles lee ray version of um chucky and i was hoping i even saw a trailer uh, that showed a scene where the older Andy woke up and kind of looked at the foot of his bed and you could see like Chucky next to the dresser and kind of move and I was like oh that looks that looks actually pretty creepy that scene is not even in the movie so if you if you got excited by that scene like I did not even in the movie it's something completely different it's one of those uh, gotcha pull the rug up from under you so I went and saw this film and uh, you know some films don't have to be remade uh, and some you know will probably be you know not as good as the original but still something that offers something or changes something in a way that benefits the story child's play 2019 was a complete disaster uh it was a horrible movie now i don't know about you guys but i've always been a fan of horror i love the horror genre uh, growing up in the 80s you know movies like uh uh the evil dead and and i even films before that you know i, I like george romero's night of living dead because of its classic nature um i love uh you know uh Poltergeist, those kind of films really kind of, they did something different than films nowadays because now, over like the last 10 or 15 years, films have really gotten into the jump scare or the fake scares that have been, you know, prominent and, and big ticket horror films where you hear all the sound get really silent. Then the camera does a quick cut and it's just someone standing there and everybody screams and it's, it's, a, it's a fake scare. It's not really something to scare you. And Child's Play, the initial film, even though it was lighthearted, it was extremely gory and uh, it didn't take itself extremely seriously, but especially the first film, the second and third and, you know, The Bride of Chucky and all that stuff, to me, that wasn't that great. I didn't even watch those. I didn't watch The Seed of Chucky. I don't think I've ever seen The Bride of Chucky because it, it kind of veered off into crazy land for me. I like the original film, watching this doll and watching uh, Karen, Andy's mother, like sit it down and look at it and, and you know kind of get close and realize there's something wrong that that feeling of oh shit something is really happening here they screwed this movie up in so many ways it is unbelievable how bad the film is uh initially i was thinking okay well it's an ai it's an artificial intelligence uh, it's able to interface with all these okay let me let me step back there's a company uh, i think it's called caslin 
Uh, it's kind of like Apple or Google. It's a big organization that, you know, billion, multi-billion dollar organization that makes smart devices for your home, like your vacuum cleaner, and your microwave, and your oven, and all these things, your TV. And so they created this doll, this Buddy doll. It's B-U-D-D-I. So I guess they're trying to be more like iPhone, I, you know, iPod. So it's B-U-D-D-I. It's the Buddy doll. And um, it's supposed to be there to, uh, you know, help children and, and be their best friend. And, and kind of, uh, you know, remind them things. It'll remind you to take out the trash, remind you to, you know, get this book for homework. It walks around your house and, and it kind of creates this new friend for you. And so this kid, Andy, the older Andy, which the original film, he was much younger. This kid's about 15 years old, 14 or 13. And uh, he's kind of an introvert, so his mom gets him the doll. And uh, I'm not gonna spoil it here. I'm not gonna spoil, you know, the, the intricacies of the film, but I'm gonna go through some of the things that really, piss me off. I was in the theater and probably for the first 45 minutes, there was one death, uh, maybe longer than that. It was one death and it was very insignificant. And even though the films are R-rated film, you don't really see anything. And once that death happened and, and I saw that they were trying to, you know, what they were trying to do with the character, uh, they were trying to, you know, let him absorb his environment and learn from people. And I was like, okay, this really could get crazy. Um, a few things I will say that really irked me. Charles Lee Ray was the original Chucky doll. He was a serial killer. Uh, and that's why the Char the Chucky doll became Chucky. Hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? Charles, Chuck. This, Chuck. this Chucky doll, this Buddy doll, there's no meaning behind his name at all. Uh, it's a smart doll, so it asked Andy, hey, what, what's my name? Andy said a different name. And then the, the doll malfunctioned and said, did you say Chucky? I like Chucky. So the whole Chucky mythos is completely gone. One of the things that really got me excited about the prospect of this film was having Mark Hamill voice the Chucky doll. Now we all know, you know, growing up in the 90s, Mark Hamill was one of the greatest villains of all time, voice acting. He was the Joker for the Batman animated series. Um, he was incredible. And so I was like, man, I can't wait to see what he does with this character. And of course, Mark Hamill has wide range, a huge degree of range. Uh, but the way that this character was set up there would never be a moment like the original where Chucky just breaks out of being a toy and says, I'm going to fucking kill you, kid. I mean, that kind of stuff. Whatever happened, because this Chucky doll only learns from the environment around it. So it'll never say anything unique. It'll only repeat people and repeat circumstances that it sees. Therefore, there's any, Ch any of these dolls could have turned into this Chucky. Any of these dolls could have turned into it. There's no mystery behind the, you know, this little thing, what turns it evil. It's just, it's marking, checking box by box, the logical avenue to get this thing to go crazy. And the, to me, that took so much away from the heart and the soul of the original film. Uh, the death scenes were just so over the top. The few that were in the film were so over the top. It was like watching the movie 2012. You look at each other and you say, this could never happen. I mean, what are the chances of this ever happening? Uh, how was he able to do this? How was he able to do that? It's never explained. And uh, this film did not need to be made. Luckily for us, you know, for the people who really are fans of the original Child's Play film, uh, there are lots of... That that series is still continuing. That series is still continuing with, you know, the Charles E. Ray character and that Chucky. Thank God this soft reboot is not going to be the staple of, of the series going forward. It fell flat. Uh, there was no heart and soul. The characters, the characters, you know, the mother, Karen, in the original was someone who was kind of endearing and you were looking at her going through the situation with her son and she was really concerned and, and she was, you know, she, she wasn't like a one note type of character. You could actually speak to her and she'd say, well, that makes sense. Or wait, that's really, really weird. Catherine Hicks played the original uh, Karen Barkley and uh, Audrey Plaza plays her in the remake. Now, a lot of people, my wife's a huge fan of Audrey Plaza because of the, the TV show Parks and Rec. She's a very um, particular character. It takes a very skilled actor to play this role. Uh, in, that, in that series, she's very awkward and angry and, you know, she has a lot of one-liners and she's the same all the time. That character is, is the mother here. She doesn't come across as a mother, really. She doesn't come across as someone who you can relate to. She acts just like she did in Park, uh, Parks and Rec. And um, if you want to see her in a you know, child's play film, then this was probably your cup of tea. But for me, it just didn't 
come across as a mother that I liked. It's not someone who I felt any type of connection with. And I really didn't care what the hell may have happened to her in the film because of the way they portrayed the character. She also had a, a little side love interest in the film. And, and it was just so cliche the way that they created this character. And they made him into, oh, I fucking hate this guy. I hate him. And that's exactly how you felt because of the way that they created this character. There was never any nuance in him. He was 100% asshole the entire time. And so... I was like, God, they're not even trying with these characters. Andy came across as extremely unlikable. I didn't like Andy at all. At least in the original film, he acted like a regular kid. And, and, and you know, this whole scenario in this film just felt very sterile and fake. Uh, I would say it's probably taking place somewhere like in New York or the Bronx. Uh, there's these old skyrise type apartments where, you know, it's three or four or five floors and everybody lives in this little building. and. All the kids are, you know, they wear the same clothes every day. And there's this girl who's like a side character, wears a hat 90% of the times you see her on screen. It's like, they're trying so hard to make this into something that it's not. They tried to go the Stranger Things route where they got this group of misfit kids, you know, working together. They had very unbelievable situations where uh, uh, Andy gave something to someone that you can't believe in your own mind that the person wouldn't have opened it up in the course of a few days, taken a peek. Nobody would have done that. It was just very unbelievable. There was a, a detective in the film that, uh, you know, came across to me as kind of unbelievable. Uh, you know, making these off-color jokes at the wrong time and stuff. And the movie just really sucked. I wanted it to be good. You know, it had this finale ending, you know, inside the Caslin store or the store that Andy's mom worked in where all this stuff starts to happen. And you're like, wait a minute. Um, how is this happening? The Chucky doll was the one who uh, was the only one able to use foul language, the only one able to use violence. He was programmed. He had all those protocols removed from him at the beginning of the movie. Kind of an accidental thing that happened. Uh, but at the end, a whole bunch of crazy stuff starts happening. You're like, how in the hell is this happening? You know, he's got this... The Chucky doll now has like the E.T. finger with the light on the tip and he's making things happen and people are dying and... It doesn't make any sense. The whole motivation behind this doll, I'm trying to keep this thing as spoiler-free as possible. The, the entire motivation behind this doll is he wants to be Andy's best friend. The original film that made it so good is that this doll wanted to take over Andy. He wanted to become Andy and live in Andy's body, and he wanted to stay close to Andy and kill people because he was a serial killer. This one here, he wants to be Andy's best friend because all these dolls are programmed. I want to be your best friend. Okay, am I your best friend? Are we having fun? They could have done so much with it. And so anyone else who, who this doll saw as maybe a threat to Andy, not physical threat, but even a threat to becoming Andy's friend, this doll went after them. And in the end, he broke that rule and was killing people, you know, without any reasoning. And it wasn't like they were trying to, you know, hurt Andy or be Andy's friend. He just kind of went off the script and was just killing people randomly. And so the whole movie fell apart for me. By the time I got done with the, the, the you know, the experience, I was tapping Kate, you know, and she was looking... Maybe about an hour and a half into the film, I looked at her and I tapped her on the shoulder and she looked at me and I said, and I said, do you want to go home? I never say that in the middle of a film. I said, do you want to go home? She was like, no, well, let's just finish it and see what happens. And at the end of the film, Child's Play 2019 sucked. If I were to give this thing uh, a score, I would give it maybe a D minus. It was really, really bad. I know some of my favorite reviewers have reviewed this thing and gave it, you know, higher scores. Chris Stuckman said it was better than this. It was horrible. It was really, really, really bad. It was, I wouldn't say it was as bad as Us, because Us completely made no sense to me. But um, this film was trash, horrible. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you seen Child's Play 2019? If you did, what are your genuine thoughts behind the film? What could they have done different? I think that uh, they could have allowed this doll to sit at home maybe and watch TV and watch you know, some of the, the more colorful things on TV and adopt those personality traits into itself and learn how people speak and learn how to uh, act and that way he could develop his own personality. But basically this thing had no personality. It was just repeating what it saw people do and what people said and took away all the magic of the original film. It was like, oh, Charles E. Ray was a serial killer. This doll in the original is a serial killer. He wanted to kill you. This thing just wants to stay next to Andy 
and and do whatever it can to stay next to Andy at whatever cost. And it didn't work for me. But you guys let me know what you think. I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. i got a few more things going on before I relaunch this channel. It's going to be relaunched with new everything. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that. It'll be probably later on this month, probably closer to the end of the month. So you guys be ready for that. I'll see you guys in the next video.